Today, I'm with Scott, Alex, Kelly, new friend Justin, and Brad the Clown. We're at Elmer Raj, never been here before, have no idea what to expect. The day is beautiful. We got snow in the mountains, gas on our bikes. Let's ride. Today, I am riding the 2019 CRF 450RX. You're the only one that knows where we're at. Right. Keep in mind, we're not very experienced. Come on. Whoa, don't fall down that. <laughs> Sweating bullets already, man. Kind of dressed for cooler weather. And I regret that decision. It's pretty cool. I guess that's the lake bed. Whoa. They do top speed runs and stuff down there. I don't know much about this place. So far, a pretty cool place to ride. California's cool. Okay, some new developments. I was riding, I had my phone in this pocket. I don't know if you can see it, but I had my phone there, and now I don't have it. The desert has eaten my phone. There might be a possibility that my phone is where my truck is, but I highly doubt it. Oh man, I lost the phone. I mean, really, what are the chances I'm gonna find this thing? Slim to none. How could I be so irresponsible? I need to find this phone, dude. That's all I can think about. Just knowing some snake is coiled up over it pisses me off. Is this the hill you were talking about? A little bender they have here. This looks tough. Here we go. thinking there's no way I'll make it up this it's like super loose sand and then it goes immediate to sharp ass rock You know what I have? 
I have that Find My Phone app. Dude, I think I can get my phone back. It's got a full charge too, so I think I'm okay. I hope I didn't ruin the day. I think I did. I feel so defeated right now. But honestly, my spirits are lifted now that I remember I have that app. Hopefully we can find it. It'd be kind of a fun little mission. So as long as I have signal out here, I can find my phone. Here's the situation. I lost my phone somewhere in the desert, and then I remembered that I had Find My Phone app. So we activated it. It turns out somebody found the phone, recovered it, and was 10 minutes away from where we're at right now. Rappy and I were beelining it to where the phone is. Now, I got my wife on board. She's got the laptop open. She's following the phone. The phone hasn't moved in a little while, so maybe somebody tried to get into the phone, realized they couldn't, and tossed it out the window. Maybe. I really don't know. Worst comes to worst, we're gonna have to call police and fight, I guess. We didn't want to record this, but we went to the location where the phone was at, or at least where the ping was, allegedly. There was a dude sitting on his porch on his cordless phone, of all things. He was all fenced in, he had a dog, dog looked friendly and shit. The dude was just watching his sunset, having a beer and minding his own business. We come to the gate demanding that he searches for our phones and lets us in. You know, he wasn't really about it and I, I don't blame him. I, I don't know if I would let two idiots onto my property. We didn't think he stole the phone, for one. We kind of think somebody maybe drove by his house with the phone, realized they couldn't get into it and then threw it into his yard. But the guy was doing laps in his yard, looking for the phone, couldn't find it. He started to get frustrated saying he didn't need this shit in his life and all that. And, and he didn't. And then we re the phone. Turns out it's back where we originally thought we lost it. <laughs> at the lake bed. So now we're, uh, we're on our way back to El Mirage and uh, we're, we're going to go look for it. We sent the coordinates to Scott and they're, they're out looking for it. I guess the coordinates we sent are good up to about 10, 14 feet. So there's a good opportunity we're going to get this phone back. It's at 86% battery. We're going to get this bitch. Unfortunately, not a good day of riding. I'm sorry about the video. It is what it is. Back on the bike. Now we're going to go try to find Alex and Kelly, who's out looking for the phone now with the proper coordinates. New update. Apparently they found my phone and they're on their way back. So that's cool. I wish I was there to find it, man. I would have loved to have that eureka moment. He's getting into it. What up, Alex? All right, we're coming back. Yeah, they just confirmed that they got my phone. I'm in a way better mood now. Phone recovered. They found the phone. They found it. Who found it? You found it. Of course. You want to know where it was? Where? You know the hill that we were up on top when you realized you lost your phone? It was right there? Right at the bottom. Of the Meanwhile, we harassed some poor dude, called the cops on him and everything. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, it's a disaster. Alex. All right, dude. Fun day riding around at El Mirage, even though I didn't get to ride very much. I'm so sorry for the short video, but. I had to find my phone. Huge shout out to the Patreons. You guys know I love you. Channel sponsors, of course. Chaparral Motorsports, making it all possible. Law offices of the Henry Haddad keep me out of trouble, man. I'm telling you, you guys need a good lawyer, dude. That's your guy. And then, of course, Boss Helmets, dude, keeping the noggin safe. Check out my website at suburbandelinquent.com. Always adding new stuff there. Make sure you go check out my other channel. It's all sport bikes and food. It's really good, man. You think you guys will like it. And, uh, all right. 
Love you all, man. Catch you next time. Later. What do you think the chances are that we're going to find this phone? 20%. You think 20%? What about you, Alex? 35 and a half. Come on, man. I'm at like 80% we're going to find this phone. We're basically going to be riding wide open desert. All right.